Come explore with us musical machines and living dolls. A place where monkeys ride bikes and combs sing. Where art, technology, and entertainment intersect. These historic musical machines delight us with their enchanting music, ingenious mechanisms, period costumes, and amusing characters. Many are tiny and delicate. Others fill big spaces with exuberant sound. Collecting these mechanical marvels was a passion of Murto D. Guinness. Born in 1913 into a prominent Irish brewing family, Murto Guinness grew up in London. He started collecting mechanical musical instruments and automata as a young man. Eventually, his collection would fill two townhouses on New York City's Upper East Side. Despite its size, he intimately knew every piece of his collection and enjoyed sharing it with other enthusiasts. Of course, if you wanted to see it, you should plan on spending the night. Guinness, a night owl, often rose at 6 p.m. How did these amazing machines come to be? Since ancient times, inventors devised mechanical objects that imitated living creatures and played music automatically. In the 18th century, virtuoso artisans created one-of-a-kind objects that played music and miniaturized musical mechanisms for extravagant luxury items, while automata makers attempted to simulate life. Then in the 19th century, the age of invention and mechanization, new generations of inventors and craftspeople designed new products intended to amuse and entertain an ever wider audience. So how do these marvelous musical devices work? A range of energy sources powered the machines. Instructions told them how to move or what to play. And sound was produced in a variety of ways. The Guinness Collection features objects from the 1800s and early 1900s the heyday of mechanical musical instruments. Cylinder musical boxes were Murto Guinness's favorites. They were the most widely available mechanical musical instruments for much of the 1800s. These luxuries were prized by middle-class families with aspirations of gentility. Then, in the 1880s, the new disc musical box revolutionized mechanical music. Now, interchangeable punched metal discs meant music lovers could buy an almost limitless number of songs. Other new affordable technologies meant more people could play and replay music whenever and wherever they wanted. Mechanical musical instruments were also designed for public enjoyment and proprietors' profit. They brought all kinds of music, from the blues, to opera into public venues around the world. Automata are the living dolls of the Guinness Collection. Originally, automata were unique super luxury items owned only by royalty and the enormously well-to-do. By the mid-1800s, simpler animation and increasingly mechanized production made them more affordable to a rising middle class. Paris was the center of 19th century automata production. In workshops, artists and craftspeople reproduced in miniature the world of their time. With the cachet of being French luxury items, inspiration came from daily life, from popular entertainment, and from what was considered exotic. Automata satirized France's aristocratic past depicted the fantastic, and brought a full menagerie of animals to life. They were enjoyed by children and adults all over the world. 
Today, each piece tells a story. Designed to entertain, each is a kind of time capsule of past inventiveness and technological ingenuity. We invite you to step back in time. Experience these mechanical marvels yourself. Look, listen, explore, and have fun. The permanent exhibition galleries for the Guinness Collection of Automatic Musical Instruments and Automata can be found within the Morris Museum located at 6 Normandy Heights Road, Morristown, New Jersey. Live daily demonstrations of the Murto D. Guinness Collection take place at 2 p.m. Tuesday through Sunday. The museum hours are Tuesday through Saturday from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. with second and third Thursdays open until 8 p.m. Sundays are open from 12 p.m. to 5 p.m.